Hey guys, it's Blue and Molden. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play World of Warcraft. We last left off, we just reran all of the um, Wrath of the Lich King raids, except for Oldroy. And today we are going to run Oldroy. I am still inside the raid. Let me fix that. I gotta fly all the way over there. Over the storm peaks.
got, I got that. I've got Typhoon. Okay. I'm going my typhoon because apparently I've just learned I can do that. So what are we doing? Um. Well, starting with uh, Flame Leviathan, we still have to kill him in a siege engine. Just yeah, siege engine.
And then the second boss with anything would be XT. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> we'll go talk to Ban. Where's Ban? Oh, over here, okay. The answers are here. I can feel it. There we go, see Jin Jin. Okay, let's move out. Get into your machines. I'll speak to you from here via the radio. I'm of the opinion we just drive these to the end and then just pop out of them because these honestly suck. <laughs> They're tank. They're not meant to do a whole lot of damage. Everything except for the Colossus. Yep. And I popped my cooldown thing on accident. Good job, me. <laughs> You've done it! You've broken the defenses of Ulduar! In a few moments, we'll be dropping into... What's that? Be careful! Something's headed your way! Quickly! Evasive action! Evasive action!
All right, that is that one done. XT is the next one. Alright, well the only really effective slow I have is the Ring of Frost. Yeah. So we'll try it a few times. Uh, I mean, enough scrap bots track. <laughs> I keep hitting two because I normally have an AOE ability on there, but two is where on this spec, two is where my freaking reset is. Maybe move it? I've had it at two on this spec for a while now. I'm just dumb <laughs> all right So, our limit on this guy was 10, I think? Yeah. 10? Alright. You ready? Um, one minute left of my call down, but we should, yeah, we can go ahead and start it. Far corner. Far corner, it's a start. And the other side. Okay. Nope, this. I'm ready to play! This already feels like uh, bad RNG.
Yeah, this is bad RNG. We're not going to get it at this one. Alright, we'll reset. Yeah, reset. That was probably the worst oh, RNG possible. So tired. I'll rest for just a moment. On top of that, we hit like three boom bots and not a single one of them counted for some reason. We need to keep them grouped up better. Well, yeah, but we also need them to not, you know, spawn as far away from each other. I think, I think with that RNG, even if we had everything perfect, we would not have gotten it. Because that was like, ev everything was everywhere and not nearly as grouped up. Take two. Um, give me, I, I want to wait until I'm like my cooldown's halfway. Because right now it, it's at two minutes remaining. Alright, uh, we can go ahead and start trying now. New toys for me? Oh, I promise I won't break them this time! Far corner, it's Far good. Corner. That's a good start. Let's not jinx it. Far corner again. Far corner, other side. I'm ready to play! Oh, this side. I think we'll be good if we do it. When? Now. Now? Okay, go. I'm ready to play! Nope. Oh, I posted. Uh, 14. So tired. We need one more group. I'll rest for just a okay. moment. Jumped the gun a little bit, I think. Well, we had five groups, and we only need four, don't we? Yeah, but they don't always group up fine or well. Like, the fir that first run, we had, like, the five boom bots and then the boom bot, or the five scrap bots and the boom bot itself. But the five scrap bots were so far away from each other that the boom bot was only able to take out, like, one of them. So... Like this, they can they can spawn far enough away from the bomb to where the bomb can't do anything. You know, okay. Right.
I wonder if I took the right... Well, you have the typhoon thing that knocks him back, right? Yeah. But I have And then you have the the mass um what you call it? Yeah, but the the typhoon has two potential upgrades. One of them is increases radius by 20% and its range by 5 yards. And then the other one is reduces the cooldown of typhoon by 5 seconds, and I can't take both of them. I think in this instance, reducing the cooldown would be a better choice. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because I had it on Gale Winds, but it wasn't seeming to be... I mean, being able to use it more often, especially here. Yeah. A 25 second cooldown now versus my 30 seconds for everything else. Alright. Ready? Yep. New toys for me? Oh, I promise I won't break them this time. Ah, so tired. They're all on your side right now. Here they come on my He's gonna eat these. I can't do anything about it. My God, we got it! <laughs> as soon as he ate, he ate one, and I. All right. So what happened there? What happened there? Is he ate one, and my thing shot. He ate one of them, and my thing shot up straight up to seven. So I was like, "Holy shit! I'm gonna start breaking them right now," because he ate one and blew up seven of them. So I just started breaking them, and we got it. We got really lucky there. <laughs> but that's, that is that that is what we needed. Well, um, you know, I blew up like 10. Yeah, but he ate one and he blew up seven himself by eating one of the boom bots. I'm not sure how he managed to pull that off, but I'm not going to question it. And I'm just going to accept that we got the achievement. <laughs> Those scrap bots finally... Okay. So. Alright. Next up, Kologon is the next one still with an achievement. Really? Yeah. To be fair, we, we will not struggle with his achievement. We just have to one shot him, right? Yeah, we just have to kill him without touching his arms. But it, it, he still technically has that achievement, so just do not use an AoE, whatever you do. <laughs> um, I can switch back to my main spec now, so let me do that.
Yeah, I should do that. So Herdy is the last one that I'm still worried about. And all I know about that one is... Nothing. I'm trying to ask about it, but nobody's saying anything. Well, the problem with the Hodier fight is that you kind of need to be coordinated, and I absolutely am not, so... Well, the good news is, Hodio is the very last thing we need to do. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. What do you mean it's not? We still have a, an achievement on Freya we need to do. Well, yeah, but Freya's... We can do Freya before Hodio was the idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna save Hodia for last. That's why I was like Because on my notes, Hodia comes right before General V's axe, so And we don't have anything, you know, off of him or Yogg or Agalon. Master Shadow Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> Not with open arms W, please. Okay. Okay, color going is done. Um, all right, remember on. So yeah, I vote we do Memron first. Okay. That scream, man. That scream is just unnecessary. <laughs> Absolutely not necessary. <laughs> so with Memron, all we have to do is press the giant button. That's it. Okay. That's like it. I told you before, it's going to set the floor on fire. Yeah. Looked at me funny. I'm wondering what you were doing in here. Alright. Pressing the button. Press the button. Sequence initiate this area. Go and do something like that. Didn't you see the sign that said do not push this button? How will we finish testing with the self-destruct mechanism after? It indeed sets the room on fire. <laughs> yes, and the flames will chase you, so be careful where you stand, otherwise you're going to end up having the entire floor on fire before you're ready. We didn't start the fire. Good cop. <laughs> Behold the VX 001 anti personnel assault cannon. This area will self destruct in nine minutes. 
Thank you, friends. Your efforts have yielded some fantastic data. Now, where did I put... Oh, oh there it is. Do the flames eventually go out? Because I'm not... Nope. How the hell would people even do this Isn't back in the day? <laughs> making sure you, you know, do like the room to room thing and, um... Yeah, but if the fires never go out, you can't even do that. Uh, yeah, you can. You just group up and you stand in one spot and when the fire gets close, you move like two feet to the left and then you... Oh, just I keep see. Like, okay. all the way around the room. Good thing you know, because it chases you. Gaze upon its magnificence! Bask in its glorious... Um, glory! I present you with... C-O-7-T-R-O-N! Terminated. Override code A905. <laughs> okay. It, it was significantly harder back in the day. I allowed my mind to be corrupted by that fiend in the prison, overriding my primary directive. All systems seem to be functional now. Clear. Ooh, I got a pet. Okay. Memon is done. Alright, Freya. Hopefully I don't goof up Freya this time. Ooh, I got uh, a you, you did? Yep. You did get a pet. There's another chest, by the way. Oh. Because we did it on hard mode. <laughs> I got two pets. It's a good thing you can have two of the same. So what were you gonna say? Um, you had said that you were gonna, you had trouble in there because you couldn't see anything, and I said, "Put me, I'll follow." Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. There's there's a lot of foliage in that room, so. Honestly, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna. Uh, where are we going? Shattered Rockway or no? <laughs> Conservatory, Conservatory of Life. Okay. I kind of know generally where... Yeah, because this room looks a lot bigger than it really is. Um, Just as long as you don't go over by the water, you should be okay. Yeah, I'm going to follow the wall one direction. You go the other direction. Um, okay. And then we'll pull them back here. This place will serve as your graveyard. Mortals have no place here. All right, I've got two of them, and I'm coming back to the door. All right, I'm getting the third one. Where do you just want me to bring me here? The conservatory. I have the third one right now. Reached. All right, I'm by the door. Just... Um, I think you hold her. 
How far is the pool vase? Because I was like way by the wall. Now would be a good time to nuke, though. Would we be able to reset it? Because she already took one of the elders. She instantly takes one of the elders as soon as she pulls. Alright, you are not allowed to go anywhere in this room. Yeah, because apparently her pool bank is the entire fucking room. I was nowhere in the other. Um, they are not resetting. Yeah, we have to kill. I'm literally stunned. <laughs> okay. Next time, put me on follow. Okay. I'm just not even going to enter the room. I'm just going to let you do the pool and I'm just going to sit outside. I'm not even going to... Because I can't even trust my... If I put I, if I put you on follow, I'm still somehow going to pull. Well, I don't see how. Well, okay, look. Let me show you where I was standing. Because I was like way the hell over here when she pulled. And I know for a fact because I watched her start running towards me and I was way over here. So I don't understand what happened. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's the kind of thing where, I mean, do they have to die at the same time. They don't have to be standing next to each other, right? They have to die at the same time. I don't know because... She's not pulling now, and I was right here, and she pulled. So I don't, I genuinely don't know. Hold on. Okay, you have to defeat all three of them within 15 seconds of each other. That's not a problem. You go to one, and I'll take the other two, and then we just nuke. That we don't have to pull them anywhere. Right? So if you go to the one on the left, and then I grab the two on the right, and then we say go, and you kill yours and I kill mine, that should do it. And then she's hmm. not involved at all. I'm just worried that I won't get the achievement because I wasn't in co combat with all three of them. No, they just have to die within 15 seconds of each other. It doesn't matter who is in combat with who. I mean, this is how you do it when you have, like, 25 people in here. You split the group up. What's the achievement called? Lumberjacked. Lumberjacked. Okay. Defeat within 15 seconds of each other. All we have to do, you go left, I go right, and then we say go, and they die. Okay. Uh, we're, we're making it more complicated than it needs to be, as per usual. As per Wildhead again, because Wildhead was very adamant that you have to have all three of them pulled together. Well, they will pull, yes, but not like standing next to each other. Everybody was like, you have to have them all pulled next to each other so you can AOE okay. them all down. Okay, well, we already know so. that the, everything that you've read so far has been utter shit. Wait, 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 before you pull, before you pull, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. The elder that died. Okay. Just, the elder that died just respawned. All three elders are up. We can still do it. Okay. Then you go for the one on the left, and I'll go for the two over here on the right. Okay. Because I'm getting the idea that maybe once all three are pulled, she pulls or something. It's possible. We just have to kill them within 15 seconds. All right. This place will Nature, serve as your The conservatory has been breached. 
Give me a sec. He's further away than. All right. Kill them. They have no place here. Come for you. I need a talk. Yep, there we go. One has fallen. Once again, Wildhead is full of shit. <laughs> Not everything on Wildhead is bad, but I mean, it. It appears that way. Because that was like every of, single comment on the Wowhead. If you look up the Wowhead thing, everything, everybody was saying that. So I don't know what they're talking about. Well, it's done. Okay. So Freya... Now look, I, I was almost on top of her earlier and didn't pull her. So I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I showed you where I was standing. So I... I Honest to God, do not know what happened. I honestly think it's if you're in combat with all three for more than a couple seconds, she pu uh, she pulls automatically. That must be it because I'm literally yeah, like that, a foot away. That, that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, now hold on. Um. Okay. That is another achievement to just stay there and wait for her to spawn ads. Don't we have that already? Uh, no, we don't. We haven't gotten a single achievement from Freya. Okay, so we're just how long? How many ads do we have to wait for her to spawn? Um, we have to have two ancient water spirits, two storm lashes, and two snap lashes. <laughs> So the ancient conservator can die. Let's just not kill anything. It's not like they're hurting. It might make it hard to see what we have. Snap, alright, that's one Snap Lasher, one Ancient Water Spirit, and one Storm Lasher. Okay, so we need another Allies of Nature thing. Okay. What? Two ancient water spirits, two storm lashers, and two snap lashers. Yeah, but we only have one of each right now. She spawned one of each as soon as it said allies of nature have uh, appeared, so... Well, she said that twice. Well, it only spawned once. I'm not... of the elements shall overtake you. Oh, it seems to be random each time whenever that appears. Okay. Yeah. Stay up, so I'm killing those as best as I can. Okay. 
children, assist me! Two ancient water spirits. Okay, now we can uh nuke everything down. This hold on me dissipates. What? I can see clearly once more. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was panicked for a split second. I was like, did I misread the achievement? But no. Deforestation is done. Okay. Alright, there's only one more old war achievement left. Really? What's that? The Hodia one. We have officially done everything else in old war. Really? Yep. All 70 of them? Yes, all 70 of them. Oh my god. It's gonna be funny if the last thing we absolutely have to do is a Nixia. That being said, though, the Hodia one is probably the second hardest achievement out of all of them. So I'm not looking forward to it. To be honest, I kind of, I kind of wish it was XT that was the last one and not this one. Because <laughs> this one, I genuinely have no idea what we're doing. Because I, I have the guide thing written, but I don't know what anything looks like. Um, well, the fire that the mages put down looks like an actual bonfire with big old logs sticking up in the air like a teepee, yeah. Yeah. and they're on fire. And it's big. It's not like a little, you know, campfire on the ground. It's a big thing. You can't miss it. Um, and obviously the white circles, the buffs, you can see those. The only thing that you can't really see is the, um... The electric buff you get from the shamans. Yeah. So what I have written is that um, don't stand to fire, run into the mounds of snow and white circles whenever the boss begins to cast his freeze. Um, I have to tank the boss. You get a couple of druids and mages up. Once the bonfires and moonbeams appear, then we free the... Um, shamans and you're supposed to get the electrical effect and then when you get the effect you run over to me and I pick up the buff from you um, and then afterwards I run around picking up the bonfire and the moonbeam buffs that's what I have so this written. can't be soloed at all yeah it, this one cannot be soloed because um 
like all the comments were like, this is one of the few non-soloable achievements. Because apparently you're supposed to get the shaman buff and then run over to me to give me the shaman buff. Okay. Don't forget you have a battle res. I do have a battle res. Okay. <laughs> Just a reminder because, you know, last time it would have been real handy. <laughs> Yep. So do we right. I'm gonna free some druids and some mages. Alright, and I'm gonna pull the boss. Here's a fire, so just in case you need to know what it looks like. Alright, in a moonbeam, free, uh, do we still have shamans? Yeah. Okay, let me know when you get electrical buff and I can uh, run over here. Um, I've got the electrical buff. I think. Run over, run over, run over. I'm running. Got it? Yep. Yep. Okay, that's moon. Okay, wait. Got it! Alright, we're done. Kill him! We're done. Yep. Kill him! We have 100% at old one. I thought that was gonna be really, really, really hard. <laughs> we tried it before. We and it tried was really it before. Hard. I'm not sure. Well, we. <laughs> I don't know, but everybody's dancing. That's fucking hysterical. We did that like it was easy. <laughs> I know. I don't. I don't, we, we I don't took less time than Freya. <laughs> Freya was harder. Okay. Oh my god. That is Old War 100% finished. It does actually look like Anixia will be the last thing. <laughs> Yeah, so we've uh, finished Old Y. Wow. I got a pet out of that. I didn't. I mean, I had it already, but now I have another one. Yeah, so. Next weekend, we have one Anixia run, because we have to do that twice, and then we have to finish off Ice Crown Citadel, and then the weekend after that is just finish Anixia. What is it in Ice Crown Citadel that we still have to do? Um, we have to do the rune thing again in, um, in 25, man. Oh. Oh, okay. And we still have to do the Blood Queen thing, where I'm not a vampire. So then I'll run in first. Yeah. Uh, but that's it for Ice Crown. And then Nixie has that. Yeah. I am I am very impressed that we actually got both of the really hard ones today. Well, I mean, it, the RNG had to go in our favor at some point. I mean, we <laughs> had tried it several times. Yeah. Um... So do we want to do the rest of the raid just for kicks and giggles, or what, what's the idea? Volpera. 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 Alright, that is a, um... <laughs> oh my god, I've been asking for Volpera for months. <laughs> 
All right, we'll we'll do. We will do Volpera. Um, that's just gonna be a fun thing. So I'll end off the stream then. Okay. Um. Yeah, that is gonna be it for this episode. We have finally completed Old Roy. Um, that was a huge hurdle down. And it's just Ice Crown and Arnie left. Um, so yeah, if you guys have... Uh, hello, Blood Elf. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Blue Emerald, signing off. Good night, everybody.